What's up guys? I have yet another product to install on my truck. Now you guys are gonna see this video just before I do weight loss program. Now if you're someone who is just tired of all the BS on our trucks, you're looking to do weight loss program, you use your truck for off-road, or if you live in an area where this isn't considered illegal, this product is for that. Or if you're someone who wants to keep your truck emission compliant, this is still a good upgrade for that as well. And you guys saw it obviously in the description. Let's go ahead and unbox this guy. Now, I don't have any help here today, so I'll do my best to do this without putting the camera down. And I'm too lazy, you know, it's, it's late in the day now, and I don't feel like running downstairs to get my tripod, so yeah, I'm sorry guys. You know what, I might have to put the camera down though this is a little tough and I don't want to cut myself obviously well let's see let's see let's see there we go look at that all right so if you're someone looking to I would call this bulletproof your truck this is one way to do that so let's go ahead and take everything out this is through VSC and Let's go ahead and see what it is. I just got off the phone with VSC and they did say that their catch cans were on back order, but I do appreciate them sending out the uh, CCV kit here so I can get this installed this weekend. The um, catch can is pretty easy, but that's the other part of this thing that I got here. Now I don't have a promo code or anything like that. I just figured I would show you guys the quality. I know that there are some knockoffs out there from some companies. And I want to say VSC was the first company to do this. So again, if you don't know the CCV on our trucks, and I'm talking about the Duramax L5Ps are prone to failure. It's a plastic housing. You're putting pressure on it. And I'll show you guys online really quickly, you know, just some of the talking points on that. But if you're looking to bulletproof your truck, this is one of the cheap and easy ways to um, just kind of prevent having an issue. And whenever it does fail, you can't just replace the part. You basically have to replace that whole cover on the, um, on the engine. So it's more money. And like I said, you have just overbuilt uh, materials here. And yeah, I think that for what they give you, everything that, that, that came in here is just nice. All your nuts and bolts and the bolts that they put on the CCV, and I'm talking about the factory one, you have to have a special tool to get them out because it's not built to come out as one piece. So yes, we'll pretty much be doing an install video on all this stuff, but they give you everything right here with a check off. And then on the very back, it shows you the instruction. So this is not a hard install. Josh and I are gonna be putting this together and I will be showing you guys a more detailed install on his channel. So then just be sure to subscribe to Truck Stuff for sure. And then like I said, we'll be pretty much showing you guys how all this stuff goes in there. But I should get the catch can next week. And I'll just pretty much, I, want, I might just go ahead and combine all the footage versus dropping this video. So in other words, let me show you something real quickly. You've pretty much seen all of this stuff here, okay? So these are my up pipes. This is my down pipe already wrapped. And here's my five inch exhaust. I wasn't gonna show this in this video because I was thinking I was gonna be able to show you the catch can and the CCV delete for the Duramax. But the next video I do, um, before this one, you will probably see it. I am gonna be going over weight loss program if you wanna do new exhausts, things like that. And I'm just showing you guys fitment, showing how everything pretty much lines up. That way, if you want to do this when it does become Lego, then you'll have pretty much everything that you need, basically. So five inch exhaust, three and a half inch down pipe. Don't go any bigger than that, because if you go online, people have already talked about this. Bigger diameter down pipes have to be bent anyway, so you're going to lose some of that diameter anyways. And then is prone to rubbing, so you could get a hole in it. So don't go any bigger. I only did the up pipes simply because the factory ones are prone to failure. So while we're already in there, 
Oh, pipes ain't that expensive, by the way. And then I did five inch exhaust, so I did do a muffler. And yeah, all this is in another video too, as I said. So yeah, be sure to check it out. I think that with everything that I'm doing on my truck, this should bulletproof it for the most part. And if you're someone who wants to do a emission compliant truck, I still recommend you do this. Now the catch can, I won't say that that is or is not emission compliant, but just be careful where you dump it at. Make sure you dump it uh, when it gets full of the catch can in that area where it's designated to be dumped and you should be good. But yeah, I think that for what you're getting in this package, it's not cheap and there are some knockoffs out there. And I do know some of the systems for the crankcase ventilation that are the knockoffs of this system are prone to leaking. All right, that's been confirmed. So just be careful which ones you get. That's why I spent a little bit more money and got something a little bit better that way once it's in there, I ain't gotta look back at it. Now let's go online real quick so you guys can see some of the features and benefits of this product and then I'll show you guys the catch can. I'm on runvsc.com. Unfortunately, I do not have a promo code but I still wanted to show you guys the product here. So this is the raw aluminum and then this is the midnight black as they call it. Now for 2017 through 24, this is the cost for the CCV, the 49.99 is for the midnight black raw aluminum is this price here. If you do have a 25 plus, remember there is a sensor now on the block for the CCV. So right on top of this block here, there's a sensor. So be sure to get that kit, okay? Now, most people know what the CCV is, crankcase ventilation, and this pretty much explains what this does. If you wanna get this kit, this is pretty much why you would here. And the main reason why they made this system is because the factory CCV is not serviceable, okay? So if you ever have to replace this, the dealer's gonna tell you that you have to replace the CCV system with the entire driver's side valve cover. And that includes removing the injectors, fuel lines, to gain access to it. So six hours and figure $205 times six is what you're gonna be paying plus parts. This is a really nice way to bulletproof your truck. That way you don't have to worry about that failure and again, the catch can is the other step to that, which is not putting those oil vapors back into the turbo. All right, so we're jumping ahead a little bit. I figured I would add this in here simply because I'm more of a visual learner and I want to show this to you. Now, obviously the new stuff is on. And by the way, anyone know what that is over there? Yep, my truck is done. And we just took off all that stuff just so we can clean it and put it back on. Just so you guys know, we're, we're gonna put all that stuff back on. You know, just saying. But yeah, let's talk about this really quickly. Uh, this system is going to fail. And just really quickly, uh, my hands dirty already. I thought I was gonna come out here and not get dirty, but yeah, you see right there? That creates those gas vapors which create oil over time, which pretty much gets thrown into your turbocharger. So this is the boost line here that you're gonna block off on the turbo. So you're not gonna use this part of the system anymore, okay? And you guys see this is plastic. It is pretty durable plastic, but just think of it like this. This sits on top of the engine that gets really hot. And as temperatures increase, decrease, over the course of time, this is gonna fail. They're known to fail. And in order to Replace this, the dealer's gonna tell you you have to replace the entire valve cover because they don't make this serviceable from GM and they lock it in there with these special nuts. That way it's kinda of hard to get out. So you have to use the easy out that you saw earlier in my video to get them out. So instead of waiting for this to fail because at some point it's gonna fail, why not just take it out now, get rid of this boost on this plastic and get something more overbuilt. And adding the catch can means you're not putting junk back through the turbo, you're actually catching it, you can just dump it responsibly. So that's kind of why I did this upgrade. I like the idea of getting rid of this boost line here on this system, and it's not gonna be reused, so that's nice. You know what, I'll show it to you guys really quickly. So you guys can see, that's the new oil fill, and then down there is the new block off for that uh, VSC system. And then on the turbocharger, the block off plate went, you can kind of see, I mean, 
I don't know, you may not be able to see it right there. It's to the left, right there. You can see the bolt at least. So yeah, you block off that part for that boost pressure. So that's gone, okay? But yeah, all in all, it's a really good system. You guys see my cash cans right there. I've only driven my truck home since I've done all the work to the truck. So uh, unfortunately, you guys aren't gonna see this for probably another two weeks uh, just because I have to get my ducks in order here. And yeah, I'm pretty excited for you guys to see what I've done. It's gonna be amazing. But let's go ahead and check out the catch can and that'll pretty much end the video. Here is the catch can from VSC. This is really nice stuff, guys. And their system is just top notch. You pull this and twist the can off. You can see how it comes off right there. Um, obviously, crankcase ventilation, you're gonna get some moisture, oils, things like that. So we'll see how much mileage we can get on the truck and how much this will fill up. So stay tuned for that. Really easy to install. Here's all the mounting hardware. I think they give you a few different mounting points too. So let's go ahead and open this up so you guys can see the inside. All right, so all you gotta do is pull up on this. Like I said, you just twist. Actually has a little bit of tightness to it too. So that's the inside of it. Really high quality stuff. So yeah, like I said, to put it back on. This just pretty much locks in place. So there's no way this is coming undone. And then you'll see how these basically um, work. So the oil comes in this way, and then the pressure and air go out this way back into the intake, basically.